Hi, I am Robert Ticiliano. I am a security awareness expert and the head trainer at protectnowllc.com. Welcome to this week's Protect Now Security Snapshot. Each week, we break down recent events in the world of scams, fraud, and identity theft. I will provide you with real life examples of how certain information vulnerabilities can be exploited by online predators, by the bad guys, and share the best up-to-date tips and practices on how to protect your business, your loved ones from hacks, fraud, and identity theft. Let's get at it. And welcome to this week's Protect Now Security Snapshot. So gift card scams and what you need to know. Gift cards are a big deal. Walgreens, Walmart, Best Buy, iTunes, Google Play. Bad guys know that once they get you to send them gift cards, that they can cash that in and make a ton of money really quick. It's a great way to turn data into cash. I'm going to show you how to avoid that. Also, I'm going to take you to the Protect Now ID Theft Protection page, just so you know where it's at. And yours truly was on CBS Boston discussing gift card scams back in the day. It's kind of a nostalgic look at where I've been in a video that you might want to see. And then I'm going to show you how to get a PDF of all the links we're talking about today and to sign up for my next webinar, date to be determined, and to get a free copy of my best-selling book off of Amazon and to visit our Facebook page because you got to like our Facebook page. So let's get at it. Okay, gift card scams and what you need to know and what do you need to know? So it's actually pretty simple, but it's an elaborate scam that works really effectively. Bad guys essentially will target you, they'll target your employer, they'll find you on social, they'll make you offers via email or via instant messaging. They might send you off an email saying that your boss is interested or wants you to go out and buy them a half a dozen iTunes gift cards or Walgreens or Walmart gift cards. They want you to scratch off the coat of the back, text them pictures of those gift cards. And once you do, once they get that, they cash those gift cards in immediately. Like it is a very lucrative scam. So down here it talks about typically Scarlet Widow, which are scammers based in Nigeria. They ask for iTunes and Google Play cards, but they have been known to ask for gift cards from places like Walgreens, Target, CVS. You might think it's a bit strange that these people could actually con others to pay for services like cell phone service with a Visa gift card. But remember, these are experts at manipulating people, okay? So they often come up with a story with a sense of urgency, like your boss needs five gift cards because he's got to send them off to his clients in anticipation of the holidays and so on. And then like they say that there's this, this amazing deal that will expire in three hours, whatever the case might be. And people actually fall for it because, you know, we're gullible, we're naive. All of us are, every one of us are. It's more than just a sucker born every minute. We're all suckers. And then one example of this is administrator from a finance company, somebody that I know, I know. I work with this person, uh, that the scammer sent the administrator a request for 1500 bucks in gift cards. I think it was like three or five, $300 gift cards. And she did. She went out and bought them immediately. And then she responded via email with snapshots of all the gift cards. And then, you know, she calls her boss later on and says, I sent those gift cards out. And he's like, what gift cards? What are you talking about? She's like, didn't you email me for a request for gift cards? What the bad guy has done is he copied or modeled the boss's email. He found both of them on the web. He found him, the boss, you know, in his email. He found her as the administrator answering the phone. And he just, the bad guy created an email that looked like the boss's and it wasn't. And she thought it was legit. And she sent the gift cards and the money was gone. They called me like, what do you do? I'm like, uh, cry. I mean, once the gift cards are cashed in, there's not much you can do. And that's it. Maybe Google or maybe iTunes, you know, Apple might refund you, but mostly not. So just be really careful of that. All right. So that being said, share this and then check out our ID protection, identity and credit monitoring at protectnow.com forward slash ID dash protection. You know, it's a good gift for the holidays. Also, check out the iTunes gift card scam, me on CBS Boston back in the day. And then also head to um, protectnow.online and uh, download a copy, a PDF of the, um, what, we're, what we're discussing today. And then, check, and then you can get a link to our next um, webinar, Date to be Determined. This one you're seeing in the screen is probably past due by the time you're looking at this, but Sign up anyways for the next one and check out our Facebook page. Our Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash protect dash now. I will see you online. You guys be safe out there and have a happy holiday season.
Peace.